What's up guys, the Backyard Bush Mechanic here, 117,000 kilometres and our VF Commodore has an issue, the cruise control, it's a little bit, it's not like, look at that, beautiful, nothing wrong with that one, but this one here, you're driving along, you sit, look at that, we're stuck in the accelerating position, well, that's going to be slightly distracting and cause an accident. So we've got one of these guys made in China. No wonder the country's gone to a mess. So we've got a brand new one of these. Get them for about 70 bucks. Mechanic's probably going to charge you about 150 to fit the thing. So we're going to fit the thing today. Or, what we could do, we could just arrow dye that. But that wouldn't be backyard bush mechanic, would it? That'd be backyard bush butcher. So, in the interest of making this video a bit longer, we're going to fix it. So first things first, what we've got to do, we've got to get this airbag off because, well, we can try and take the trim off. There's going to be some screws inside there that's holding this guy in. So we've got to get the airbag off. And we can't feel any holes, but if you give the steering wheel a half turn, you'll fill some holes in the back. And you're going to be wanting to drop the steering wheel right down. And you're going to be trying to pull it out as far as you can towards yourself. So there's the little holes you're looking for. Most people are using a sort of long and thin Allen key. I don't have one of those. I've got Allen keys, but they're not long and thin enough to do the job. So I'm going to use like a... Uh, Phillips head screwdrivers there's no screws in there it's it's these little clips that you move over and it unclips the airbag out but first you want to disconnect the battery because you've got electrics in there you've got an airbag and well that could get nasty very quickly ten mil socket get those off so this is what i've come up with this is uh sort of a i guess a six and a half inch flat head phillips head screwdriver i should say um you really want a flat ended object rather than a one like this because it's going to tend to slide off the end being angled before you can undo the clip but this should do the job and you want to get it in at an angle like that as deep as it goes you should hear a, a click if you get it right and move it over and the airbag will pop out on one side but in the interest of doing this while I'm not holding a camera I'll be back in a second all right so after mucking around for about maybe 30 seconds each side uh, this guy unclipped these little springs here if I got the screwdriver around the back, you'll see what I'm doing. You'll see that. That's basically what you're doing. You're moving that over and it pops out automatically from the back. A uh, little bit harder when there's some load on it. So you'll muck around with it for a couple of minutes, but it should pop off. You can just leave this dangling. If you did want to change the airbag over, no shoes, as you can see, barefoot mechanic. Um, you can you pull these pink things up these will just lift off uh, and they change them for Chevys in Australia and in America they change them for Holden so we all want what the other one has a bit like everything else in life and then we are going to remove the trim we start from the top down it should pretty much unclip and uh, we'll get that little guy off so the first thing we want to do is get these plugs off uh, I think they're just a matter of squeezing and pulling out there should be a little tab no, no tab, just slide them out with the old finger. Get a fingernail in there and pull back. And they go, come off pretty easy. So I thought there'd be a tab on there, but there's not. That just basically uh, come out with a fingernail. So they're unplugged. This, by rights, you should just start at the top by pulling it back and unclipping. Um, definitely, un it's, it's a bit of a gentle wrestle, 
Uh, some people start at the top and pull it out. Uh, I found it easy to start here. Um, gently work your fingers under and pull out. Um, obviously don't uh, try and take it out one side like that because you're going to break something. You're going to do a little bit on this side, a little bit on that side. Work the fingers up around the top and it should pull out quite easily. Uh, that is just all rubber so I think if you just gently pull out nice and firmly it comes out pretty easily a little bit of a wrestle I couldn't do it on camera because I've got to hold the phone as well but it wasn't too hard okay then you're going to want to get a workbench complete with a pizza and one of these guys you're going to want a T20 tool bit power drill and you're going to want to get the guy two off two screws one each side And that should pop out. Undo those screws, you've still got a bit more to do. There's some little clips here. Those little, if you can pop it out with a little screwdriver or your fingernail, the inside of that should pop out. So, this quite is what's nicely. happened you've got this white piece of plastic here, and you can see all the little bits of shrapnel in there, and that's what's caused it to give up the ghost. And uh, that's the new unit. That thing basically falls apart after many hundreds of thousands of Ks, 116,000 to be exact. And uh, I don't know if you can heraldite this thing back together and repair it, keep it as a spare, or whether you just give it the float test and chuck it in the piss. But uh, we're going to put this guy back together now. Okay, so basically you're going to come in from the, uh, I don't know, I guess the, the Paddington end. And uh, you're, you're going to want to get these, that clip on the over there and there's a few of those all around the so a little bit of manipulation but we'll get it back together okay so she's all screwed up and uh, this is all back together and feeling brand new again and we're going to put it back in It'll the car just be a matter of lining these plastic tabs up here with the little rubber seats and pushing them in and manipulating this thing back on so I'm going to get that done what I found was easier is if you started on this side, you can start on the other side, but I started on this side, I got this guy in, you don't really want to be uh, putting your whole body weight on it, but you push down nice and firmly, it just seats, you'll, you'll, it just slides in quite tightly. Um, I left the top, I went to this side and did the same thing, and I'm doing the top last because when I tried pushing that in then that in I've found that this wasn't lining up so good um, so I did it the side side and then top and then the top should just basically uh, push in like so and there it is next you're going to want to put the plugs back on and they are really easy so you're just going to line the guys up and slide it on in when I say it's really easy, this one's going to make a liar out of me. Basically, line it up, push it in, hear that click. You get the airbag go. in, you know, line these guys up with that hole there. It should pretty much self align. And then we're just going to push that guy, push, push, click. And that's it, back together. And uh, I can honk at people if my battery was connected and we're good to go. Okay, so we've started the car up and uh, the airbag is still on the steering wheel, which is a good sign. And we want to straighten up that steering wheel, take it out for a test drive and make sure she works. So thanks once again for watching another Backyard Bush Mechanic video. I appreciate the 3,100 people who watched me change a light bulb in this car. That's got me blown away. If you found this video useful, please click like and subscribe and all the other stuff you do on YouTube videos. If you have any ideas for anything else on the VF Commodore, any videos you want to see, please leave a comment in the comment section. 
or just comment as you see fit. That's the Backyard Bush Mechanic, over and out.